Hi everyone, in this video, I will teach you how to change access level, role of a user on your YouTube. Don't you worry, this will be quick and easy, so let's go ahead and begin. Okay. So for this video, we're not going to use the YouTube application or the YouTube Studio application. As for the setting that we need is accessible only using the browser. And if you have a PC or a laptop, yes, you can do it there. But if you don't have those devices or you just don't want to use our devices and want to do it on your phone, I'll show you how. Okay. So for the first step, we're just going to open the Microsoft Edge. You can use whichever browser that you like as long as it has the US desktop site setting. Okay, so once you've opened the Microsoft Edge or whichever browser that you're using, all you have to do is to type in the link studio.youtube.com to head to YouTube Studio. And if you're not logged in, all you have to do is to log in to see the screen that I have right now. And to change access level, all you have to do is to zoom in and go to the lower left corner of the page or if you're using a PC just look down and look for the gear icon let's go ahead and tap it once you've tapped on it you will see this prompt this is the settings of YouTube studio and the one we're looking for in this setting is the permission let's go ahead and tap it once you've tapped on it on the right part of the prompt you will see the list of the people that has access to your YouTube channel. And to change access level, all you have to do is to go to the role column. And as you can see, the person that you've added here will be on the list. And as you can see, there is a drop down button right next to the role of the person that you've added to your YouTube channel. To change, all you have to do is to tap on it. Once you've tapped on it, you will see this set of options. And on here, you can choose whichever level or role that you'd like to give that person. A while ago, this person is just a viewer. Let's say I want to promote him as a subtitle editor. All you have to do is to tap on that option. Once you've tapped on it, you will see that it changed and once you're sure all you have to do is to tap on save let's go ahead and tap it once you've tapped on it you will be back to this screen the prompt will be gone but if it's your first time on logging in you will be asked to verify your identification and there you go that's it for this video i hope this video helped don't forget to like comment and subscribe also ring the notification bell for you to be updated for newly uploaded tutorials and i'll see you in the next video